another decision a manager needs to make is whether to sell products or to process them further into other products. So for example, I can sell frozen pizzas and frozen calzones or I could bake them and sell freshly baked pizzas and calzones. So what would you do? Well, to make that decision, not all the costs are relevant. So, for example, all the costs that we incur through frozen pizza or frozen calzone stage are sunk costs. Those are costs that would be incurred regardless of whether we sell frozen stage or process further and bake them. So those costs are irrelevant to the decision at hand to sell or process further because they're what? Sunk. Secondly, we'd also want to think about something called joint costs. Joint costs are costs that are shared regardless of the alternative. So as I called them sunk costs, were those costs also shared um, between whether we sell or process further? Yes. Now, the best example I have of a joint cost, and this is a little gruesome, is um, when you have a cow and that cow goes to um, market, that cow is cut up, isn't it? So the joint cost of the cow, which is the cow and the, 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 um, the cow being cut up into different parts, that is a joint cost, isn't it? And that cost is incurred because we create value um, not through putting parts together, but taking parts apart, right? Um, so a joint cost is a shared cost. It's the cost of the cow. You could also say this is, is a barrel of oil. We get more value from splitting out the various products from a barrel of oil than uh, putting barrels of oil together, don't we? So a joint cost is the cost of the cow or the cost of the barrel of oil. And then at a certain point, which is called the split off point, we split it up into all the different things that can be made from a barrel of oil or from a cow. So in this case, going back to pizzas and calzones, we're going to do exercise 14. And it says we can sell frozen pizzas at for $4 a pizza. We can sell frozen calzones for $4 a calzone. So notice I'm not looking at any costs that were incurred to make the pizza or the calzone to this point. Why? Because they're a sunk cost or they're a joint cost. They've, they've been there. We've done that. Now the alternative is to take those pizzas or calzones and process them further. Now to make the decision, we want to find out their net realizable value. In other words, what's the ultimate selling price? Well, for a pizza, if it's freshly baked, I can sell it for $8. If it's a freshly baked calzone, I can sell it for $10. Okay, so those are the ultimate selling prices. Well, did I have to incur some additional processing cost to get to those fresh baked stages? And yes, I do. And I'm salivating. <laughs> So the additional cost that I have to incur to bake the pizza or to bake the calzone is $5. So what is the choice I can make? I can sell a pizza for $4 frozen or I can process it further and net realizable value from uh, processing further $3. Well, which is better off? selling frozen pizzas or processing it further and only getting three bucks? Well, pizzas, I want to sell frozen. Well, what about the calzones? Calzones I can sell for $10 if they're freshly baked. And remember the $5 additional cost I have to incur to get them freshly baked? Well, my net realizable value is $5. So where am I better off? Frozen calzones or freshly baked calzones? Well, five dollars is bigger than four, so if given a choice, I would rather sell fresh baked calzones. So when we look at sell or process further, look at the selling price at the split off point, meaning or processing it further, 
looking at sales minus the additional cost that you have to incur to get that ultimate sale.